Hello, everyone. I'm White Cow. Nice to meet you. Today, I will install Whisper Speech on my computer. Whisper Speech is an open source text to speech system that synthesizes speech from text. First, I will introduce what has actually been created. Based on the sample voices, the content shown in the video will be pronounced using those voices. Here is sample voice one. I speak to you for the first time as Prime Minister in a solemn hour for the life of our country. This is the clone version of it. This is the first demo of Whisper Speech, a fully open source text to speech model trained by Calabra and Lion on the Jules supercomputer. Here is sample voice two. The Higgs boson has fascinated and eluded scientists since the 1960s. This subatomic particle already exists in theory. And this is the cloned version of that. This is the first demo of Whisper Speech, a fully open source text to speech model trained by Calabra and Lion on the Joule supercomputer. How was it? Next, I will introduce the installation method. We will proceed with reference to Whisper Speech's GitHub. However, at first I did not know what to do. I managed to install and verify the, the operation, so I will explain the process. First, launch the command prompt and check if the necessary requirements are met. The items to be confirmed are the versions of Python and CUDA installed on Windows. At the current stage, the dependencies required for this project were unclear, so I will proceed by resolving errors as they occur. Dealing with errors is a learning process. I will create a Python virtual environment to accomplish this. If it's a virtual environment, it can be separated from the PC's main system, preventing contamination of the environment. In the video, I will move to an appropriate directory, create it there, and then establish the virtual environment. It's important to note that the Python virtual environment is created using the Python interpreter installed on Windows. Let's create a Python virtual environment in this directory. Here, I will briefly touch on how to create it. A virtual environment is a tool for creating a project-specific Python environment, allowing for the separation and management of different dependencies for each project. Next, I will activate the virtual environment. The term activate in the context of Python's virtual environments means to enable a specific virtual environment. This is akin to entering into that virtual environment. Now that the virtual environment is activated, I will install PyTorch within it. PyTorch allows for GPU acceleration on systems where CUDA is installed. On PyTorch's official website, by selecting the same version of CUDA that is installed on Windows, a command will be displayed. All you need to do is copy and paste it. Inside the virtual environment, I install it using pip. Since it showed that a new version of pip is available, I will upgrade it. Next, I will install whisper speech. The existence of the command implies that a package named Whisper Speech is published on the Python package index. With this, the preparation is complete. I will describe the content of the video in a text editor like Notepad. This is a script to convert the English text into speech. I will save it with a name. Using this content, the extension should be saved as .py. The destination for saving will be the folder created earlier. Returning to the command prompt, I will execute this script.
an error occurred. I will omit the details of the error, but for those who are particularly interested, I have provided information in the link in the video description. I will install the missing packages. We'll execute the script again. A sound file has been created. Let's check it out immediately. This is the first demo of Whisper Speech, a fully open source text to speech model trained by Collabora and Lion on the Joule supercomputer. Next, I will try voice cloning based on the sample voice. I will install Jupyter Notebook to make the creation process more convenient. Jupyter Notebook is an interactive computing environment that operates in a web browser. It allows for the writing and execution of code, addition of text, and insertion of graphs and charts, all within a single document. It is widely used especially in fields like data science, machine learning, statistical analysis, and education. The installation is now complete. By executing the Jupyter Notebook command, I can start the notebook environment in a web browser. As a first step, I will create a note and input some GPU-related commands. Since it displayed true, it is enabled. I will also check the details of the available GPUs. I will copy and paste a voice cloning sample from GitHub. I'll create a new notebook and paste it there. An error occurred. It seems that simply copying and pasting is not enough for it to work. I will try modifying the code. I will try a bit harder. Please wait for a moment. It seemed to work, but an error occurred. It shows that I lack the privileges to create symbolic links in Windows. Therefore, I will close the command prompt and try restarting it with administrative privileges. Following the same steps as before, I will navigate to the WhisperSpeech directory. Since the virtual environment is already created, I will activate it. Entering the Jupyter Notebook command is also the same as before. Since the notebook is already created, I will click the Run button. Yet again, an error occurred. It seems to be failing at attempting to load audio files directly from a remote URL. This means that placing the sample voice on my own computer might solve the issue. I will download the sample voice and place it on my computer. I speak to you 
for the first time as Prime Minister The downloaded file has a long name, so I will change it. I will move this to the Whisper Speech folder. I will modify the code to specify the location of the audio file. This is the first demo of Whisper Speech, a fully open source text to speech model trained by Calabra and Lion. It worked! The sample is now pronouncing in English with the sample's audio quality. Sample voices can also be in formats, like MP3 files. The Globe Theater is a faithful reconstruction of the open air playhouse designed in 1599. The theater season runs from May to September. With production This is the first demo of Whisper Speech a fully open-source text-to-speech model trained by Calabra and Lion on the dual supercomputer. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.